Well, it's that time of year. It's writing season 2021, and a lot of you guys out there are like me. You're getting ready to take your first long motorcycle trip. No matter what kind of motorcycle you ride, unless you pull a trailer, it seems like there's just never enough room to put everything. That's especially true on the 2018 to 2020 Honda Goldwing. So I was pretty excited when I received this motorcycle luggage bag from Kimimoto. And today I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to review it. And that's coming up right after this. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're going to talk about this brand new Kimimoto luggage bag from Kimimoto. I've reviewed a few of their products in the past, and as you can see, this is a pretty substantial bag. It is called a waterproof duffel motorcycle bag, and I'm going to read some of the information that I found on Amazon.com talking about this bag because you can order it through Amazon. They refer to it as a waterproof motorcycle tail bag uh, or a back seat bag. They mentioned that. I'm going to see if it will fit on the back seat of my 2018 Honda Goldwing. I think this bag is too large. I know it's too large to fit on the luggage rack or the trunk rack of a Goldwing. Uh, regardless, if you have an adventure bike or a, another type of motorcycle, I'm sure it will fit. Uh, it's just the uh, 2018 Goldwing is pretty narrow. They say for winter activities, because it is supposed to be waterproof. So for those of you that have a snowmobile, uh, I'm sure this bag would work good also. Large capacity and fixable. I think they mean flexible. This is one of those... Uh, uh, foreign translations I think they have on uh, Amazon, but I think they mean flexible. The size of this motorcycle saddlebag is, I think it says SOL. God, I hope not. Um, it can hold heavy winter warm items such as helmets, down jackets, windproof jackets, gloves, and hats. Okay, well, we get the idea. I'm just going to take a look at the bag and go through it and uh, take you along with me. Now, it does have a nice uh, handle here, a carrying handle with Velcro. So when you take it off the bike, you can uh, you know carry it into a hotel or wherever you're staying. It does not have any kind of a zipper on the opening up here. It just has a kind of a flap that closes up. No Velcro or Oh, wait a minute. Does it have a zipper? Huh. Does not have a zipper. Okay. The idea, I think, is that you fold this over like this. And then that, you know, gives it the waterproof ability. It's kind of a folding style bag. And then you have these uh, uh, little plastic uh, attachments that you can snap together to close it up and keep it, you know, more compact. It also has what looks like reflective material on here or reflective uh, screen printing. We'll turn out some lights and see if this is actually reflective. It also has like a little mesh where you could put like a large water bottle or something in here and then you can cinch it up with this little cinch. So it has this, uh, which is a nice feature. Now if we look at the end, there is a zipper and it is a waterproof zipper which looks pretty nice. It's got a little rubber flap covering it. And this is where they say you can put your shoes. Other than that, there's another pouch on this side, which also has a waterproof zipper. And you could use this. Oh, it's big enough to store, you know, a few items in there. It's pretty good size. It's not huge, but it's, uh, you could store smaller items like a cell phone, uh, maybe a small pocket camera, something like that. And then on the inside of the bag, which is pretty dark in here, now there's also some stuff in here. This looks like uh, some tie-down, maybe some tie-down strap, and that's pretty much it. So it is lined with, there is a mesh liner in here with a zipper. So for like dirty laundry, things like that, or a wet, you know, swimsuit, something like that, you could keep it in there and it's a, it's a mesh so it will breathe. Um, and then the rest of the liner, it feels like rubber. It's almost like a rubbery um, waterproof material. So what I'm going to do is see if I can pack up everything I need for about a week to go to West Texas 
And I'm going to see if I can get it to all to fit in this bag. Now, I don't know if you can see all this junk laying out of the table. I got seven pair of underwear, seven pair of socks. I've got my uh, shaving kit. I have a pair of uh, my red tennis shoes that I wear, sneakers. I've got five or six shirts over here, a pair of pajamas, um, another pair of uh, kind of casual pants that I'll wear around in the evening, and a pair of blue jeans. I'm going to see if I can fit this in the bottom of the bag and put everything else on top of it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my laptop in here, and I'm going to put it underneath the little shoe bag. This is actually the, the shoe bag here. Uh, on the inside. It, it is also waterproof material. I think I can slip this laptop down kind of underneath all of this so that the shoes would actually be sitting on top of the laptop. So we're going to try that. I may have to change up how I do this. I'm going to see about putting these this pair of shoes in here. And I wear about a size 10 and a half so um, that will give you some idea as to whether or not your shoes will fit. There might be a technique to this. You know, the, the shoe bag feels pretty substantial. It's just that uh, the opening makes it a little bit of a struggle to get the shoes in there. Now I got them in. Okay, so now we're going to zip that up. That's closed up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my underwear kind of next to that shoe bag. And uh, let's see, I've got about seven pair there of unmentionables. And then we'll uh, get my socks, put those in there. It's starting to fill up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put this um, little shaving kit kind of next, next to the shoes. Next thing is I'm going to fold up my clothes and get those in there. And by the way, I'm using this flip and fold. If you don't have one of these and you travel a lot, you pack clothes, thing's amazing. I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can order this. They really are cool. We use it all the time. So let's see if all this is going to fit in this Kimimoto luggage bag. You know, we're talking about a week's worth of clothes here. Here's a couple of shirts I'm going to put in there. And my packing skills may not be perfect. You could probably do this more efficiently some other way. Maybe roll up the shirts instead of... This is getting pretty full. This is my last shirt. I believe I've got seven shirts in here. And then uh, the last thing I'm putting in is a pair of blue jeans. Now you could probably fit a couple pair in here, but I'm just going to put one pair in because that's what I take with me. And I'm going to roll this up like they suggest. And then what you have is you have this little strap that comes over here and connects to this to kind of keep it all tied cinched up like that. And you have one on each side. So we will tie this up. And this is basically what the bag's going to look like sitting on the back of the motorcycle, hopefully. And the handle, I guess there's no way to really put the handle inside the bag that I can see. This gives you some additional um, straps that, that clip in here and you can then wrap this around the bag to hold the whole thing uh, to make it you know tighter and neater and the the bag itself feels pretty nice it feels pretty durable I cinch that up so that basically is the bag right there and you've got this little mesh so if you want to stick a big water bottle in here or whatever, uh, you can use that for additional storage. Uh, but if you're an adventure rider and you're going over rough terrain, you're going to want a really secure way to tie this bag down. So there's other types of tie downs. I'll put links in the description of this video to some of those. 
as well as my other bungee cords that I use. And I will, of course, put a link in the description to this bag if you're interested in it. So, let's get to the garage. As you can see, this Kimimoto bag does fit on the back seat of my 2018 Goldwing. However, I'd say it's about the maximum size you'd be able to fit on this motorcycle. Now remember, I have a full week's worth of clothing in this bag, plus shoes and a laptop. Now the bag does come with these bungee cords for strapping down the bag, but I'm not a big fan of bungee cords. I just don't really trust them. I purchased a set of these rock straps off of Amazon.com, and I'll put links in the description of this video to these. And this is what most uh, riders recommend as a reliable tie-down source. Each of the rock straps comes in two pieces. Here is the shorter piece, which is actually an elastic material, kind of stretchy. And I'm just going to feed that buckle through the strap, the little nylon loop. And here you can see I've got one at the front side of the passenger grab rail. And I've got one of them attached to the rear of the passenger grab rail, kind of behind that little separator bar. Now, on the other half of the rock strap is this flat, very strong nylon strap. It also has a loop on the end. And I'm going to loop the buckle or place the buckle through that loop, just like I did on the other side. And you, once again, I've got one at the front of the passenger grab rail and one at the rear. Just to demonstrate how these rock straps work, I'm going to place a small package on the rear seat and show you how I would use the rock straps to tie it down and secure it to the rear seat. Now we will use the same technique on the Kimimoto bag, but it's a little easier to see in this demonstration. Here I'm using the front strap, the nylon strap, and connecting it to the rear on the right side. And I'm going to take the rear nylon strap from the left side and connect it to the front on the left side. This gives us a crisscross effect. And then I can pull on these straps to cinch them up and make them really, really tight. And I can guarantee you this little package is not going to go anywhere. We're going to use the exact same technique to tie down the Kimimoto bag. We're going to start with the rear left side strap and after letting out all the slack and making it the full length, I'm just going to pull it over so that it kind of hangs in toward the front on the right side. And then I'll use the front strap on the left side of the bike and crisscross it over. Now I'm looping these underneath the straps on the Kimimoto bag. It just makes for a little bit more secure tie down than just having them loose on the bag itself. So I always weave it underneath the straps of the Kimimoto bag. Now it's just a matter of connecting the buckles from the left side to the right side of the strap. And as you can see here, I'm using the one from the front half on the left side and connecting it to the uh, rear on the right side. And you can see this strap is almost not long enough. This one goes up to a max of 42 inches. It could probably benefit from getting the longer 60 inch maximum rock strap, but it will work. It will reach. And then we're going to pull the front one on the right to the rear on the left and connect those up. Now we've got our Kimimoto bag secured. It's not going anywhere. And here's what the Kimimoto bag looks like on the back seat of a 2018 Goldwing once it's been strapped down with the rock straps. And remember, this is with a full week's worth of clothing plus a laptop and a pair of shoes. But can I fit on the motorcycle with the Kimimoto bag strapped down? As you can see, no problem. It's going to be a comfortable ride, and I'm going to test this on my ride to Midland here in the next few weeks, so I will update you on how this bag performs. Kimimoto did not sponsor this video, and no money exchanged hands. However, they did send me this bag to test and review. You'll find links in the description of this video if you wish to order the Kimimoto bag or the rock straps through my Amazon page. Thanks for joining me today on Cruise Man's Garage.